The Palace of Westminster is home to one of the busiest parliamentary institutions in the world. Thousands of people work here and visit every day, and millions of tourists are drawn to its iconic splendor. Completed in the mid-1800s, many of the palace's features have never undergone major renovation. So what's being done to tackle any problems? Not only to ensure the palace continues to function as a working building, but also to preserve its unique heritage for future generations. In this video, we will look at the fire safety precautions around the palace and what needs to be done to bring the systems up to modern standards. The new Palace of Westminster was built in the mid-1800s to replace the old palace, which burnt down in 1834 following a major fire. With that in mind, Charles Barry put fireproofing firmly at the centre of his design using stone and iron to counter the risk from numerous smoke flues. When it came to the interior decoration, he and Pugin used vast quantities of combustible materials, and the huge network of ventilation shafts and floor voids they included in their design to aid ventilation had the unintentional effect of creating ideal conditions for fire and smoke to spread through the building. The 1974 Fire Precautions Act was designed to protect occupants and buildings from fire but following the Windsor Castle fire in 1992, improved compartmentation was one of the key fire protection measures recommended for all of the royal palaces. By subdividing a building into compartments or blocks, separated by walls and floors of fire-resisting construction, it slows the spread of fire and smoke by containing it within a single compartment for at least 30 minutes, enough to safeguard lives, and for at least 60 minutes, enough to minimize damage to the building and its contents. In the 90s, extensive compartmentation work was begun in the Palace of Westminster, but given the building is in constant use and the extremely invasive nature of the work, only two-thirds has been completed. So at the moment, if there was a major fire, only some compartments would be relied upon. And the recent discovery of previously hidden Victorian ventilation ducts further complicates the picture. Evidence suggests that smoke could travel through these ducts, as well as architectural voids, so completing the programme of compartmentation is necessary to avoid this happening. If we have a fire, it will stop the fire spreading. These compartments go from basement through, through the principal floor all the way up to the top of the building. But because of the invasive nature of the work and the extent of the work that needs to complete it, the compartmentation will take quite a while longer. There's over 6,000 fire safety devices in the palace, including break glass call points, smoke detectors and voice alarms. At the moment, they function adequately, but they are reaching the end of their working life and coverage by automatic fire detection and alarm systems must be extended to comply with modern standards. They're part of the infrastructure that links the fire alarm system to the control room, but many of them only give very limited signals. Also, this infrastructure services the entire estate, not only the palace, and because of its age, it won't support the more modern, data-heavy systems which have been installed. They've got devices, they've got automatic smoke detection in all the offices. We need to be able to go in there, remove that, remove the break glass call points if they are there, and rewire. In a room like this, for example, we would have to replace that smoke detector, which would include the wiring as well. If the wiring is traced down the walls anywhere, then we would have to disturb the wallpaper. There'll be scaffolding in here. No one would be able to use it as a meeting room, so therefore this place would be out of bounds for a considerable time. Despite all of these problems, the palace is a safe environment for people to work in and visit, because everyone remains vigilant. And the fire safety improvement program, as well as appropriate measures, are in place to reduce the risk of fire as far as possible. These include a team of experienced fire officers on call 24 hours a day to investigate and deal with suspected incidents and to carry out regular inspections and patrols. The basement is thought to be the area at highest risk of fire because of congested mechanical and electrical services and the difficulty of access for the fire brigade. A sprinkler system is virtually impossible to install without first resolving the intensely overcrowded corridors. However, the current program will deliver a high-pressure water mist system and smaller pipes, pumps and water supplies to the basement and high-risk areas. So, substantial work needs to be done 
to complete the compartmentation and to fit out and equip the palace so that it meets modern fire safety standards and ensures the long-term safety of the building. To find out more, please watch the other videos in this series.